Welcome back. So in the last video, we modeled our gene, which for this problem, uh, we said was a, um, a, a point on a coordinate plane. And that's what we use to represent one of our cities. It's just an XY coordinate. That's what our TSP gene was. A chromosome uh, essentially boils down to a collection of genes. Uh, in our case, they're ordered in a particular way. Right, so let's uh, go ahead and introduce that. Let's call it TSP chromosome. And we're going to say that um, private final list of TSP gene. We'll call it the chromosome. You can call it the, whatever the DNA, the chromosome, whatever you want to call it, really. It's just the solution. Right, and uh, TSP chromosome. And we're going to take a couple constructors. One constructor we'll take in is just a list of TSP genes that have been determined for us, right? And we're just going to say this dot chromosome is equal to chromosome. And, um, you know, we can even make this, this should be collections dot unmodifiable list, really. It doesn't need to be modified after the fact, and then we'll see that. And another one we're going to have is a static TSP chromosome. We're going to create a call a method called create. And we'll take in a TSP gene array of points. These are the data points that you're going to give your problem. You'll see how we're going to use this here. We're going to say final list of TSP gene genes is equal to arrays.asList and arrays bear with me here, dot copy of points, points dot length, and I'll explain this in a second, and we will say collections dot shuffle the genes, and then return new TSP chromosome of those genes. So really this method, this is just a way to create a random solution, right? So it's not the most optimal solution, it's just sort of for our initial population. We're going to take the data points that we're given, uh, maybe from a file or some other location. They're going to come in as a an array of points, or excuse me, in a, as an array of TSP genes. They're going to be all of our points, and all we're going to do is copy them into an, uh, another array that we put into a list so as not to modify the original um, array. And then we're going to shuffle that uh, and to get a random solution and, and shove it into a TSP chromosome, right? Because remember, a TSP chromosome takes this list of genes and then return that. Okay, so fairly straightforward. Uh, some more boilerplate code coming your way here. I'm going to write the, this should be pretty straightforward, uh, final string builder, builder is equal to new string builder. We're just going to create the two-string method here really quickly for final TSP gene uh, gene in the this dot chromosome. We're just going to say builder dot append gene dot two string, and we're going to uh, say append also with that. And just a really simple rinky dink two-string method to print out each one of the genes. Uh, we're just going to turn around and call the two-string method on each one of the genes uh, to get our ordered solution, right? Since it's a list, it'll be ordered. Um, and so more boilerplate list of TSP gene. Get chromosome, turn this dot chromosome. Now let's start to introduce some interesting methods. Double calculate distance. This is our fitness function, really. Um, we're going to say double total is equal to zero dot. And if you profile your application, you'll notice that your program's going to spend most of its time in this method. And i equals zero, i less than uh, this dot chromosome dot size minus one, i plus plus. So we're going to go through and we're going to say total plus equals this dot chromosome dot get of i dot distance. We're going to compute the distance between this 
gene and this dot chromosome dot get i plus one, its neighbor, right? And we're just going to say return total, right? That's going to return the uh, distance traversed between all of the genes in our chromosome. And um, the only other things that we need to do here are we're going to have a method called um, that's going to return a TSP chromosome array. It's only going to have two elements in it. Crossover, final TSP chromosome, other. And so we're going to have this method. Let's return null for a second. So <clears throat> we're going to have a method that does the crossover operation, and we're going to have another method on here that um, TSP chromosome mutate. And this should, um, yeah, this should then return a copy, return null, right? So this is going to, um, this is going to mutate our chromosome. And so now the only things that we have to do is fill out uh, what it means to do the crossover and what it means to do the mutation.